What's up guys, Aladdin, the live action movie has finally dropped. Does it live up to the animated movie that came out in the 90s? Well, let's find out on today's episode of Planetary Reviews. What's up guys, like I said, Aladdin has dropped today and I am extremely excited because Aladdin is one of my favorite Disney animated movies of all time. I've loved the movie, I love the characters, I loved everything about that movie back in the day. So going into this movie, I was very excited but I was also very scared because I was like, I don't want them to ruin it. But I had to go in there with an open mind and I, like I said I was still excited because this is my favorite movie and I've always wanted to see this movie brought to the live action field. So I'm, I was excited, I walked out of it, let's see how I thought. Let's get, let's get the story out of the way. The story is about a street rat named Aladdin who manages to get into this crazy for people who haven't seen the animated movie, which I assume there aren't too many, but for those of you who haven't seen I'm not going to go into spoilers so don't worry. But like I said, he finds a way to end up getting this magic lamp where he ends up discovering that within that lamp, there was a genie. And he wants to impress this really beautiful princess named Jasmine. So he uses the genie and his three wishes to try and find a way to sway this chick. How does it go down? Well, that's what the movie's here to tell you. Because then you got a, your villain, Jafar, who's the typical bad guy. He's like, oh, I want to, you know, rule the world and all that. So, you have him there trying to stop all this and everything, so that's always, that That was fun, I like that part. And uh, that's pretty much the story to it, without getting into too much heavy spoilers. Like I said, I'm sure everyone watching this video, or majority, have probably seen the animated movie. So, I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. But for those of you who haven't, I don't want to ruin it for you, because there is a cool story to be, to be found within that. Now, the elephant in the room was... Was this version of the genie gonna be able to do justice to Robin Williams' great performance back in the day? And in my opinion, yes, people are always gonna compare Will Smith to Robin Williams, but in my opinion, they had to do something different, because obviously Robin Williams is not here, unfortunately, with us. And they had to do, do a new version of it. They couldn't just sit there and be like, this could never be done because he's gone. And you know what? The way Will Smith did it was very fun. He may not have all the, the crazy like emotions that Robin was able to portray, but he still brought his own great and unique charm to the role, which really propelled the film for me because once Will Smith shows up as a genie, the movie starts getting extremely good. In the beginning of the film, it was a, it was a little lackluster, I'm not gonna lie. The music was good, and I gotta commend this movie for how colorful the sets were. I really love that. It really captures your eye right away when you see how colorful this film is, and I love that because Aladdin is a colorful movie, so I was very happy to see that. And the cinematography in this movie, excellent, loved it. It was just that in the beginning, I wasn't really latching on to the main, the dude who plays Aladdin in this movie. His name is Meta. Mena Masad, I'll put it down there. I don't. I hope to God I didn't ruin his last name, but he he did a good job. It's just that in the beginning, it took me a little bit to really like just believe that this is Aladdin. It took me a little bit. It wasn't until you had him and Will Smith having the charisma together and really working together, like building off each other and quipping with each other, that you really started to grow attached to Aladdin once he found the genie. Because in the beginning, I wasn't compelled enough by his performance. But once Will Smith came into the picture, boom, it was able to go down really beautifully. And the just chemistry that they had together was amazing. And I love that aspect of the film. Will Smith as a genie was very fun. And once you get to that point, you will be having a blast. Just that in the beginning, it's going to be a little eh, eh, with the performances. And then one of my favorite Disney princesses was played by Naomi Scott. 
and she did a good job. I really liked her as Princess Jasmine. She really captured the character really well, how she didn't want to be put down by the men around, uh, around her kingdom, and I really loved her performance. She did a great job, and a lot of the singing parts, I don't know if it was her singing, I'm sorry if I don't know for sure, but that was her. She sounded great during her do, doing her musical moments, and I loved it. Same thing with the dude who played Aladdin. I think he did a good job with the vocal performances. Sometimes I felt flat a little bit, but overall he did a good job. I don't know if they had auto-tuning or things in the background, but for, for what it was, it all sounded great. Especially, I was going to be really hard on how they did A Whole New World, because that is one of my favorite Disney songs of all time, and I was like... Don't ruin it, don't ruin it, don't ruin it. And luckily, they did a great job with it. Was it better than the original? My opinion, no. But it was still a very beautiful scene. The way they did the whole magic carpet ride, the way they sang it, the beat that they were giving it, it felt magical hearing that song again. And I was so happy and I was smiling that entire sequence. It was fantastic. I loved their rendition. And some of the original songs that they added to this film were also pretty good. They weren't as good as the other music, but it was still not bad. I didn't get taken away from the movie. It didn't take me out of the situation. It was good music overall, but man oh man did they nail a whole new world, which in my opinion they had to do in this movie if they wanted this to be a great film, which they did, and I was really happy about that. Another complaint, like I said about Jafar, the guy they got playing him wasn't the best. I mean, he, he didn't really have too, too, too much to work with. So his name is Mar Marwin Kanzari. Marwin Kanzari. Yeah, I think I got that right. But he he did a good job of what he was given. It's just that because of how he's a classic Disney villain, there's not really much you can do with that character other than just have him be like, I'm evil and I'm a sorcerer and I'm going to win. So it's not really too, too much you could do with a character like that. But what he was given, he did a good job. And I wasn't angry about the way he did Jafar. He did a good job. One thing that I did sorely miss was the fact that Gilbert Godfrey couldn't play Iago. He was awesome as Iago back in the day. And it would have been great to see him come back and reprise his role for this, for playing the live action Iago. That would have been great. But I did feel that it was missed. I was like, oh man, I know they're trying to portray a more realistic version of the movie which is fine i get it but i think with a giant blue genie and a magic carpet i think they could have been all right by having gilbert godfrey play iago but i digress let's get to the next thing the next thing i want to talk about the special effects in this movie were really cool when genie was blue he looked good i got used to it it was a little weird in the trailer at first but once i saw it in motion it looked much better and they also made sure to utilize Will Smith's natural skin color in a lot of the scenes as well, which was fantastic. I loved that. I love the fact that they let him really just show himself off as himself instead of just the CGI craziness, which was awesome. But there were some moments in this movie where you can tell that they were on green screen sometimes, in my opinion. You could tell that the special effects really stood out in certain scenes. And that's not, it wasn't horrible, but it didn't impress me too much. I was like, oh, wow, that looks a little, little off. And some of the sets in this movie, while they all look great and colorful, like I said, sometimes it was a little bit too, too obvious that it was on a set. But I guess that was because they were trying to capture the magic of trying to bring an animated movie to the big screen. But that was just something I noticed. I was like, some of the sets look a little eh. But you know what? It still kept me engaged and I still enjoyed seeing it because like I said, this movie looked beautiful, sounded beautiful, was filmed great, had a lot of good performances. Just in the beginning, it was lacking a little bit. But once Will Smith gets into the picture, the movie just kicks into gear and it really gets you there. Now, everyone's going to say, it. is it as good as the original animated movie? No, it's not as good as the original. But... I have no doubt that if you're a young child in today's world and you first watched this, you're going to love this movie just as much as I and many other people my age or older love the original Aladdin animated movie. They're going to love it. There's a lot of charm, there's heart, there's dancing, there's music, there's so much goodness that I don't blame a kid looking at this and going, this is my Aladdin. And that is okay. It is okay for people to say that. It is okay for you to like this movie more than the original. But for me, personally, I still feel that the original animated movie is definitely the better one. But if you have kids, you should definitely go out and see this movie. If you're a fan of the original movie, 
definitely come out and see this movie because I still think you'll have a good time just like I did. I walked out very happy and I thought it was fun. It was just a joy, a lot of smiling. And when I heard A Whole New World playing, I was so happy. So guys, at the end of the day, Aladdin 2019 gets a solid B- from me, guys. Guys, those are my thoughts on Aladdin, the live-action 2019 movie. Was it a bad film? No. It just didn't do anything to make me super impressed, but I was definitely entertained. I think it's a great kids' film for the whole family to go see with some great musical numbers. Just had a little lacking in the beginning and a kind of weak villain. But you know what? You can't really do too much with these Disney villains sometimes, especially when you're taking them from the animated movies. Because sometimes that's just what they are. They're just like little, I'm evil because whatever. Because they need to be. Because this is a story. So I'm not going to take too much away from that. But overall, like I said, I still did enjoy this movie. And I think a lot of you should go out there and see it, especially if you have kids. I really think that the kids are going to appreciate this film a lot. Because I know I would if I were there. But anyway, let me know your thoughts on the Aladdin live action 2019 movie because I want to hear where you guys saw it. If you grew up watching the original, did you like this one more? Did you like this one less? What were your thoughts? Tell me in the comment section below and it's okay if you like one or the other guys. They're always, the original's always going to be there and this one's always going to be there. If you don't like this one, you always have the original Aladdin to go watch. So don't hate anyone who likes this movie. It's okay to have different opinions, guys. Always got to remind people about that. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. My next movie review is going to be Godzilla. I'm excited to see that titan of a monster fight all these different creatures. Oh, man, it's going to be fun. It's going to be so much fun to see that movie. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.